Greetings. Let's make labels. Okay, so here's what you will need. We're gonna need a soap dispenser, green tape, a font, some carbon paper, Mod Podge. You can see all of that. You can slow the tape down and see that later. So what we're gonna do first is go ahead and clean this off with a mild detergent. I use Dawn and this sponge is very old so it's not abrasive at all. So I'm just cleaning this off, making sure that no oil from my fingers. And because I have lotion, I've been using this one already. Um, I wanna make sure there's no oil on the bottle. I wanna make sure it's nice and clean before we get started. So go ahead and clean this off pretty good. I'm gonna dry it off with a paper towel. There we go. Dry my hands too, a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty. Looks good. It's nice and clean. We're ready to get started. Okay, so I went ahead and actually used my microfiber cloth just to get off, you know how towel paper leaves bits of fiber. So I'm just trying to get all that off so I have a completely clean surface to work with. I don't want anything to be wet. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to match. This is gonna be the lotion. I already have the soap one done. So got our carbon paper. Make sure you're on the right side. The side that has the ink is gonna go against the bottle. And then you're gonna put your template and you're gonna need some tape. So I actually cut up all of my uh, tape. You're gonna need about 16 of these if you don't make any mistakes. You're going to need 16 of these. I don't want to waste tape, so I cut this in half because this is a thick um, painter's tape that I already had in the house. So I just cut this in half because, and make sure that you use the edge that is the original edge because that's going to be the straight edge. You know, because with our scissors, sometimes it's a little uneven. So, so that we keep our edges nice and straight, use the edge, like the outer edge, because that's going to be the one that is the straight edge. So just take your time and make sure that you're using not the one that you cut, which is the middle, but use the outer ones when you're um, trying to create your label, your, your faux label on the bottle. So now we have four pieces. I Like I said, I went ahead and did all 16 so that the video can move faster. So I suggest you do the same. So this is the carbon side that I'm putting downward. And then I'm putting my template or my uh, label, my outline or whatever. I don't know what you call that. I put that on um, top and then I'm attaching my tape. Now I'm doing this on a flat surface because I found that those round bottles, it's glass, it's slippery. And I tend to end up with wrinkles in my tape or my carbon paper slips and moves or falls from beneath the, um, you know, the template. So just do it on a surface and then attach it after you get it, the tape on there. So we know we're on the right side because you can see the carbon on the paper um, on my surface. Okay, so line this up straight on your bottle. Make sure you line it up how you like it because you don't really want that going on the round part too much. It'll make it more difficult to, um, you know, fill it in. So once you like it or it's, it's nice and straight, you can go ahead and Put your tape down and we're almost ready to get going. But we're technically going already. This is just the build up to the fun stuff. Okay, so um, you're gonna need your ink pen. This one happens to be blue so I can see it better. And take your time and go ahead and outline this. So um, I'm going to speed this up because I don't think you really wanna see me do all of that um in slow motion or in real time so this is eventually going to speed up a little bit but go ahead and outline your letters and i find that handwritten or the the fonts that look like handwriting or unique fonts like that they tend to look best they tend to work out best for this the minimalistic very straight very narrow fonts don't and the reason being is that with you using your hand, just like me, I'm making some mistakes, but they kind of work out with this type of font. 
um, with the more minimalistic or sleek fonts, it doesn't. Um, or it didn't to me. It annoyed me. And you see how I'm out of the, the line a little bit right there? It won't matter in the end because this font is not a perfectly straight font. The letters are not perfect, which I like about it. So it lends itself well to this DIY faux label process. So I'm going to trace all of these letters. And they look like I did this fast, but it wasn't a fast process. This is like one of those fun DIY things. Put some music on and just enjoy yourself. And it's, it's, I enjoy doing it. Um, yeah, so I'm almost done here. And again, it doesn't have to be super perfect. I find that it still looks nice, even when there are some small signs of the artist left behind. <laughs> okay, so you can remove this carefully now. Just going to go ahead and take that off. We don't need it anymore. And voila, look at here. It looks great. So now we're ready to fill it in, like back when we were kids. So I'm using an oil-based Sharpie here. The oil-based Sharpie, it is not permanent on this glass. It's not going to stay on here unless you seal it. That's why we're using Mod Podge in order to seal it. So you're going to go ahead and trace out your letters like so. And the other thing I will say is that the Mod Podge is non-toxic. It's advertised to be top rack dishwasher safe after you let it cure for 28 days. So if you want to use yours immediately, just make sure I don't I don't recommend using it right away um, until it's cured. And again, that takes 28 days and then you can actually clean these or wash them out in the dishwasher, they say. That's what it advertises. And I haven't tested it yet because um, I have, you know, some that are here. I haven't found any bleeding or any problems with my label peeling off after putting the sealant on there when you wait the 28 days. Now, mind you, I haven't used it on like essential oils or harsh chemicals or anything like that. I'm just using mine for hand soap, lotion, you know, things that are not um, harsh. So I can't really report on how it will hold up to something like a tea tree oil or, you know, if you were to use something that is uh, more harsh or abrasive. I'm not sure how to hold up. Okay, so I'm just going to keep on filling in these letters. And I'm trying to think, is there anything else I want to remind you guys of or let you know what I've learned along the process of making these? Yeah, so the um, Sharpie, it will wash off with soap and water if you make any mistakes or if you decide you just want to start over or if you decide that, hey, I don't think I want to do this type of label on here. At this point is a turnaround point. You can still turn around and go back to a clean bottle. So even though most Sharpies are completely permanent, this is glass that you're working on. So it's not permanent. Actually, I found that even after you let this oil-based Sharpie dry, if you don't seal it the way that we're going to in this video, um, it will wash off. It will just flake off. <laughs> Pardon me, I have allergies. I'm just filling in some of the, you can't hardly see it on here, but it's just where the, the oil, the paint doesn't look even. So I just filled in those little places. Looks good. Let's keep going. Okay. So I use alcohol. That's what's in that green bottle. It's alcohol and a Q-tip to clean up the surface. And unfortunately I don't have video. Um, I thought I was recording and I didn't, but I got a, just a little bit. So I zoomed in here. You see how you can see the carbon ink on there? I want that off because I want my letters to be clean and sharp. So, but you have to be careful because the oil based Sharpie will come off with alcohol. So make sure that you are sticking to the edge and, you know, being really careful just to get off the little bit that 
makes it look, you know, not so neat. So we're going to attach our, oh, you don't see it here, but you need to let this dry, the oil-based Sharpie dry for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then you can attach the tape. So you don't see my waiting time because who wants to, you know, do that on YouTube? So now you can attach your green tape. So we're just making what looks like a rectangle clear label. So we're just making our own uh, surface so that we can put the Mod Podge sealant on there. Yeah, so try to keep those edges. Make sure that your tape is down perfectly on there because you don't want the sealant getting under the tape. So this is the dishwasher safe one with the green label. It looks kind of turquoise -y, but it's actually like kind of a greenish blue color label. I bought it on Amazon, by the way. And you're gonna need a brush and we're just going to again after i put on the sharpie i let i waited about an hour to let it dry and then i lightly you don't you're not you know scrubbing it with the brush you're just lightly coating it and just doing one coat and i'm trying to take some of the brush strokes out so it doesn't show so much because I really wanted it to be as, um, let's say, streak-free as possible. But there's going to be some streaking, but it's okay because when it dries, it dries clear. So I did this three times. I'm going to fast forward because I don't think you guys want to see me do all of that. But um, when you are um, between coats, you want to take the tape off to let it dry. I found that it really messes things up if you leave the tape on and let it dry with the tape. So trust me when I tell you, I've already made plenty of mistakes trying to do this. So take the tape off between dries. Like after you get done putting the sealant on there, take that tape off, let it dry for an hour and then come back and put on the second coat. Do it again. Make sure you wash off your brush in between and let it dry. And then you're going to do another layer of the Mod Podge. And again, repeat, you're going to do that three times, let it dry for one hour, clean your brush in between because the sealant will dry on your brush and then you will come back and you have a completely hard brush <laughs> that you can't use. So I've done it. Trust me, I have forgotten and the brush was frozen in time, <laughs> which means it was useless at that point. And maybe I could have used hot water. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to include a little bit here and just say that I repeated those steps three times. I want to say that again. And I'm just showing you the process again. Um, and this looks like I'm doing this fast, but make sure that you are using those outer edges of your green tape because the edges that that middle part that when we cut the tape in half, it's not going to be perfectly straight. Not usually. Okay. So use the outer edge so that you have a completely straight line. Make sure that you are lining up your um, in, on your second and third. Make sure that you are lining your tape up with the existing rectangle. Don't create a new rectangle. Don't expand your rectangle. It will look a mess in the end if you do that. I've done it. It doesn't look nice. It ends up being that it, it looks weird. That's all I can say is it looks weird. So make sure you line it up perfectly because that's what's going to give you that clear label look is that your edges stay crisp. Even if one of the edges, like you see how that's round, the edges where the bottle is turning round, it actually kind of look like a peel at the end. That's fine. Just make sure you line it up that way every time. Make sure your coats are even. Try to, you know, smooth out your brush strokes as nice as possible. But it doesn't have to be, you know, completely perfect or anything because it will dry clear. Let me say that again. This looks a little foggy, but it's not going to end up that way. And wait until you see the end pictures. I think you're going to love it. Remove your tape. Don't forget, I'm repeating myself, but it's because I want, I want your bottle to turn out nice. I want your label to turn out perfect. Okay, so we're going to remove this and let it dry again. And like I said, do this three times. So you can see this is going to take a little time. And this is one of those projects, a Saturday project. That's when I did it, um, Saturday or Sunday. When you have some time on your hands and don't mind going to watch some TV or doing some laundry in between, 
letting these dry. So I let the ink dry for an hour. I let the sealant dry for an hour. Um, you know, so there is waiting with this project, but it's so worth it. You have a permanent um, dishwasher safe label after this. So I found um, that's just my disclaimer, just kind of reminding you guys about letting your project cure for 28 days. I still use mine. Now, mind you, it's just me in my house. Um, so I didn't have the problems. Oh, here we go. Here's the slideshow. So this is what it turned out like, guys. So, of course, this is one with the script um, where I use kind of a cursive font and in my different bathrooms. And I love them. I hope you like them, too. Um, I'll thank you now for watching and please give me your feedback in the comments. If you guys try this, um, find me on Instagram. I have an Etsy also where I sell these and I also sell the ones that are more traditional labels. So if you guys are interested, I sell the Boston round um, glass bottles. I sell the pumps and also these full label soap dispensers that are finished. You can buy those also in my Etsy shop. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.